here's a project that I've been working on where I'm using Insteon to upgrade my elevator. Now, the elevator is not a passenger elevator per se, even though it does have a 12,000 pound uh, hoist capability and uh, people have ridden in it. It did not have the required interlocks. So I just wanted to go over some of the things that I was using to integrate Insteon to be able to control this elevator and add the safety features to it as well. So first of all, I change out the switches and I'm still in the process of painting and updating this, but I change out the switches so I can control the cab uh, lighting from both the first and second floor utilizing Insteon. Um, the cab that was in here, I sort of gutted it out and put in uh, paneling and I'm going to uh, put a ceiling on here with some lighting. I got an Insteon keypad inside. The keypad ultimately, this is my up and my down. Uh, this turns the light on also inside the cab. This one here will just disable everything. It'll unlock the doors and stop the elevator. I have one that I can throw a uh, charge on. Uh, I'm using a DC motor and I have a battery that this runs on. So in an emergency, we can still utilize the elevator to go up and down. Um, and I also have a button then that'll be used to uh, notify myself if anybody is in the elevator and isn't sure what to do um, or they were to get stuck. They can do this. It'll send me a text message and an email. In any event, what I did is I put inside the door here, I've got a hidden door sensor and I'm using that as an interlock. And I've got one on the first and second floor as well as magnetic door holders. So when the door is closed, <clears throat> when the elevator is on the ground floor, it's actually de-energized so you can open the door. As soon as the elevator lifts off its limit switches that are on the bottom, it's actually going to pull in relays. Now, I've got I.O. links here, one that's listed for up and down, and I can use that to track the status. Um, and in this case, these are used to control my magnetic door locks. I've got another set over here that is my lower door and I have one for the upper door and I have hidden door sensors that are linked to it and they're both done in series so both doors have to be closed my normally open contacts I'm looping in and out of both IO links and that's running to the main common control wire for my uh, DC winch over here let's see I've got a DC motor and I've got an Insteon outlet down here where I can control the battery charger and I also can control uh, control voltage for the whole cab so I can shut everything off. I've also got it set up since it is on a DC motor. If I shut off the breaker that feeds the regular AC power, it actually opens up the relays and it won't allow anything to operate. I can call the cab from here. But I can't do it if the door is open. If I do that and I want to send it up or down, nothing's going to happen because what it does is it changes the status and opens up the common leg of my uh, control wires on my winch. You can see over here, the top one is on, but as soon as I close the door, the other one powered up. Now it'll allow me to operate the winch. And I can't open the door because it's now magnetically held. I'm going to change direction. And now that I got to the bottom, the door automatically opens. So I've got the safety mechanism in place. So you can't be in the bottom of the shaft and have somebody lower the elevator on you. Both the first and second floor now are protected.